Well, we have a beautiful fall day here. I am going to be insulating underneath the, the bed to insulate from the pass-through. I've chosen uh, this Super Tough R and it turns out the depth I need was one and a half inches. So what I've used, I'm going to be using a half inch right here and then a one inch to make up the one and a half inches. Now with that said, uh, over here they give you the R values and the one inch is 6.5 and the half inch is 3.3 .3, which will give a total of 9.8 almost 10 R value. Okay, I have the mattress removed. I've got the um, plywood pieces to cover up the grid work where I'm going to put the insulation. Um, we're going to do over the area here, the pass through. We're also going to do over here and over here and over here. Now I might put some insulation back over here, there and over here um the most important part is to get the top part but this has got some area here that is exposed that could come up through and cause some drafts so most likely i'll be doing this over here at least um and then over here there's some areas that could be draft but we're going to do the flat part piece first and then we'll look at the other pieces, what we need to do. This next part is to measure all the pieces that we're going to need for the insulation. And then mark that on the uh, insulation board and cut it to size. So measure once, measure twice before you cut. Here what you're seeing here are these little brackets that I bought on Amazon. I bought, uh, the box comes with 24 brackets and screws. Uh, it seems like the screws work pretty well. The insulation is not heavy. And I bought three boxes of them. There's 24 in each pack. I think I'm going to probably need a little bit more than 48. Um, and so we're going to take and install those on the framework. To put the uh, brackets on, this guy here, it turns out you've got to have this flat piece below the one and a half inches, the one and a half inches here. So the insulation will lay there flush with the underneath. So it turns out that you're going to need 7 sixteenths on from the bottom up. So I I marked it actually here with a, see that right there with the screwdriver. Now I'm going to put the screws in. Okay, it's time to install these brackets. Turns out it's about a half an inch from the bottom to where the screw goes in. So I'm just going to make it, mark it a half inch up. Take my Phillips head screwdriver, punch a starting hole. And then screw the brackets in and install the rest of the brackets. Alright, I've installed the brackets over here on the forward piece here. And you can see the brackets there. And in the drawer area. Over here on the drawer area, because of this ledge here, I didn't need a bracket. That should hold it up. And over on the right here. And then we'll move to the back section. Now, I wanted to show you the tools here. Basically a drill with an extension. It's a number two uh, Phillips head bit. There's your brackets and screws, a ruler, and um, there's your Phillips head number two also that I used. That's all we needed to put the brackets in. I have installed the uh, brackets in the back section now. Uh, I've got a problem, I can't reach 
the far one and I can't get through the compartment. I might be able to get through the openings a little bit, but um, I might have to put a flat piece underneath to hold it up. But meanwhile, I can cut the pieces up, put them in there, and get the flat pieces later and install those. So we're going to get uh, measuring again, check the measurements, and start cutting the uh, insulation board. Alrighty, we're going to start cutting the board here. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it there, that little dot, red dot, and I got another one over there. You need a straight edge, razor knife. knife uh, I bought some nice sharp blades so that uh, it'll cut nice and straight. So let me cut the piece up. The insulation is installed in the back half there and over the pass-through. Came out really nice. Now I'm going to do these pieces over here. I'm not certain yet if I'm going to insulate the walls of these three here. If I got extra stuff left over, I might do that later. The biggest thing is to get the total bed platform covered. So I'm going to drop down this cover now and cut up these other pieces and we'll come back. Alrighty, uh, the back or the forward piece of the bed platform is now insulated. I decided not to do the walls on this side here or over here that face the pass through. I want to get the whole platform done. I might do it with insulating board, I might do it with insulating foam. I've got some other things I want to add, so I don't want to really pen myself in a corner. We'll go outside and show you underneath in the pass-through and wrap this video up. Well, here's the underneath pass-through compartment. That one middle piece to the right, I just couldn't get a bracket. I'm going to have to get a flat piece of metal to put that up. I just couldn't reach it. It might not even come down. Maybe I won't do anything. It turns out the sewer pipe upgrade that I did holds it on this end. So I'm in pretty good shape there. Now, we had these little brackets here. I had three containers. Actually, it's 20 in each. Bought three. I only used two, and I got a few brackets left over. Over here, it took one 4x8 sheet of 1 inch and half inch, and these are the pieces left over. So I was able to do the entire platform with one sheet. 4x8 of insulation of the two different thicknesses. Just as a caution, um, when you're cutting this board, use as many of the razor blade knives. Don't don't try to save on those. Uh, it's really important that you cut straight and so everything fits properly. And um, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe and thank you for watching.